He's also got super sensitive skin, Dan has. I have to be really gentle with this. Can you see that how much that's just gone red just by rolling the clipper on it? I'm a gentle lover, aren't I, Dan? He's always gentle. Very gentle with him. Sometimes I lubricate this area before I go in. <laughs> if only Bavani could say the same. <laughs> my foreplay. <laughs> My foreplay is brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you want a swig of me coffee? Thanks, mate. Winky, winky, po, la, la, and dipsy. Ah. Oh. Winky, winky, po, la, la, and dipsy. See, it's winky, winky. That's 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 curvy. That's curvy. That's <laughs> that's curvy. <laughs> no, I just I'm, re- I'm tiny winky. Tiny. <laughs> How long is it taking you to get nice and buff then, Dan? Um, well, I've been training, what, about, a, I think consistently. I've been training about a year now. I had to take a few months out due to injury. Oh. Um, but, yeah, no, I think, like, um, the story was, is kind of like after lockdowns, um, well, during the lockdowns, where I wasn't working, um, I was cycling every day. I, like, literally, that's all I basically did with, every day was just cycle on my own about two hours a day and I went in some pretty stupid distances but I kind of lost a lot of weight but I was into my fitness by that point and I was eating right and stuff like that so basically it was kind of like now that I'm into my fitness I want to put the weight back on but I want to put the weight on properly yeah it was kind of a sort of like well if I hit if I start going to the gym and lifting weights and start going that way then I'll get myself back up to the weight that I need to be but properly and it's um, yeah, it's like I said, it's taken me about a year so far, and there's you know there's always room to go, there's always room for improvement and stuff like that. But that's why we do it. I mean, for me, the hardest part, and I think it would be the hardest part for anybody. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, you know, cutting out carbs is the hardest part. Well, I don't have to cut carbs. I mean, like, it's the one thing that you really try and need to like sort of like cut on is your sugar. Like so, it's cut. It's yeah. It's like your your glucose. So I mean, like, obviously, it's different types of sugar, isn't there? Like lactose, fructose. Um, glucose and it's like obviously things like chocolate and stuff like that but like when I was working before I started all this and before lockdowns and things like that with my job and stuff like that like it was very quick and easy to just sort of like like eat finger food and stuff yeah. like that like you know sort of like I was eating a lot of savoury and finger foods and like when I was at work if it was busy it was a case of sort of like what can I eat in like sort of like sort of 10 15 minutes be it like you know just some like chicken wings and chicken strips sort of like you know that you can just kind of put on the side and eat quickly yep and like you know but yet again the health benefits of it were just they're not there and then like you say you, you notice that you're slowing down you feel you're sluggish having, your mood swings are not right and things like that and you're you know like in my position as well some management and stuff like that you're, you're 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 noticing that it's actually taking its toll on other people as well yeah you're, and so it's like i say it's kind of sort of like when lockdown happened a lot of people I know probably struggled mentally and stuff like that with lockdown. But I kind of just looked at it as an opportunity to sort of like go, I need to, I need to sort of like change something here, and like I can. Yeah, you see, like I mean, a lot of my friends did as well. I mean, like, oh, he's disappeared. Look, uh, a lot of my friends did as well. Like, oh my. Oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, a lot of I think a lot of people did. I mean, a lot of people like and things like that, but. I was kind of lucky that um, just before it all happened, a mate of mine was, he actually went away. Um, He went to go and work on the yacht, the super yachts over in Florida. So this was about sort of six six months or so before like um, lockdown happened. He went to work on the super yachts and he literally came up to my house just before he left with his old bike and he just went, oh, I want you, he's got a really nice bike, I say old bike, but a really nice bike. He was like, I've got nowhere to put this bike. He goes, are you all right to store it for me? And I was like, yeah, I'll break it down, put it in the loft. Mate, I said it won't get damaged or anything like that. And he's like, no, I, I, I want you to use it. He goes, like, I, it's a proper nice downhill mountain bike. Like, I want you to use it. I want you to go out and, like, do stuff with it, like what I was intending to do. So, yeah, again, like I say, when lockdown hit, I kind of had, you know, all the time in the world. He didn't, he didn't have a girlfriend that he said that about as well, did he? Oh, what, the bike? Yeah, yeah. I mean, she came goes, on. The, she came on the bike, mate. I've got, I've got a girlfriend and a bike. I'm not going to be around. I need you to use them properly. <laughs> <laughs> need you to look after them and use them. So you kept the bike and put the girl in the shed, did you? Oh yeah, she went up in the loft. Mate. She went up she, in the loft. Yeah. She, she's still up there. Yeah. Well, they reckon calorie counting is probably one of the one of the one of the worst things because what happens is you have like a, a your body gets used to a sort of level, doesn't it? Yeah. And then that's when it starts to burn. That's when it starts to do stuff. So what happens is you reduce your calorie intake to 1,500 to, rather than 2,000. Your body then at 1,500, you lose weight, you feel great, you start doing that. But when you go back to 2,000, you will pile on the pounds like that. Yeah, exactly. That's what I did. I, I lost loads of weight. I was running. I lost loads of weight. It felt really good. I was cut my calorie intake down. I was cal- calorie counting lost and, and felt really good. Then I increased my calorie to back to 2,000, 
and the weight just fucking piled on. Yeah. Because I was does. like, what's going on? Like, yeah, this is what a man's supposed to eat. No, because I'd recalibrated my body to 1500 yeah. a day rather than 2000. So That's now, it's t- now I, and now I put weight on if I go over that. Yeah. So this is the bit that people pay for, the free hand bit. Anyone can put a pair of clippers to their face with a guard on it. But when you freehand your beard that's uh, without a guard on it, that's what people pay for when they come to the barbershop. If lockdown taught us one thing, it was just because you have hair doesn't mean you know how to cut it. <laughs> I think people, I think, I think definitely it helped our industry with, with regards to people going, actually you guys are like professionals, like, it is like a proper job, isn't it? You know, cutting yeah, hair yeah. is like a proper job, like a proper profession. Well, it's like, because my, do you remember my beard before lockdown was fucking huge? Yeah. That was the first thing I did. Got rid of it. I was like, I can't, I can't do what you do to keep that looking nice and neat all the time. So I was like, just get rid of it. Like literally yeah. just took a pair of clippers to it and like took it down to grade one and just kept it there. For, See you later. I was like, I know it'll grow back. Yeah talking about our bodies and talking about the way that we feel and stuff like that I really felt like I don't know what it is but I'm not getting everything from my food and I've got a friend of mine he's got chickens in his little in his back garden and um Bavani and I were having a conversation saying you know like if it wasn't part of like the, a chicken industry and we weren't you know adding to sort of all these baby chicks and stuff being slaughtered to produce eggs and all that sort of thing because that's the byproduct of the chicken industry it's just all the male chicks they just get ground down, you know? So we were like, how do we get, how do we get around that? And a friend of ours had these little chickens in his garden. He, he feeds them really nice food and looks after them. They have loads of gardens running around. And he said, hey man, I have chicken, I have eggs if you want, if you want some eggs. So we, we've, had, we've, had, we've had eggs a few times. I started eating eggs. I know you confessed on the video before. Have I? Yes. Oh, the other confession is I'm actually gay. <laughs> we that's not oh, a yeah, that. that's, just a, that's just something we know. Oh. Yeah, everyone knows that. Bavani's just a sideshow dresser. <laughs> keeping it looking fresh, but still keeping it incorporated with the beard. You used to cut these in, but it's the trouble is you cut them in within a few days, they start to grow back and you end up with a little stubbly bit, so I don't want to do that anymore. They just feel more natural down there. Eh? Rest your head back. That's it. He's also got super sensitive skin, Dan has. So I have to be really gentle with this. Can you see that how much that's just gone red just by running the clipper on it? So I have to be really gentle with him. I'm a gentle lover, aren't I, Dan? He's always gentle. Very gentle with him. Sometimes I lubricate this area before I go in. If only Bavani could say the same. <laughs> my, my, my foreplay, my, my foreplay is brace yourself. <laughs> I'm going in dry. <laughs> coming in. So I'm trying to park the car. <laughs> now or never, babe. It's now or never. I'm like Top Gun, I'm like that. Feel the need, the need for speed. And then three seconds later, it's all done. And we oh, make me and that's, that's a long time, that's a long time isn't it? Three seconds, mate. Yeah, I know, see? So like, that's it, we've got three guys together. We're talking about three seconds and everyone, you, <laughs> the other guys are like, yes. I've just, uh, and there's three ladies over there and I've just become a legend. I've become a legend with you guys. They're like, oh my God, he lasts three seconds. He's like the ultimate sex god. That is twice, I've done it, that is twice. And that includes making a sandwich. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go in with the texturizers, Dan, and I'm going to texturize quite a bit through here, all right? Because the yeah. length is really good, but it's like you say, it's always it's always the, the texture in it and the weight. So yeah, it does, especially this side. This bit here yeah. just tends to sort of like... Because it all comes like, over, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 So I'm just going to go through... Yeah, so... Yeah, there's a few... Yeah. You don't always use it, do you, Dan? No, I do. I'm, the stuff that I use is... But yeah, again, like when it's... 
when it's shorter I tend not to have to use too much of it but I just use a little bit of like a texturizing is it texture gum or something like that but it's yeah. a very light, like light part of it so it just gives that sort of like it gives it that sort of natural look as it goes up is it a bit like the beard brand styling paste something along those lines yeah something? yeah yeah other other beard brand products are also available aren't they Dan they are yes yes like that So do you reckon? Do you reckon the pub? Do you reckon the pub will um, survive then? At the or moment, no. we don't know. <laughs> we uh, the, the, the honest answer to that is at the moment we don't. No know. one knows. Yeah, we're we're um, we're really in the dark about it at the moment. We no news, just nothing. So we're just um. That's nice, isn't it? That's nice, me, isn't it? Well, yeah. Is it because they're prickly? Or is it? Oh, 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 oh! He's safe over here. He went there. He's safe he over went, here. He went there. He went there. Oh, that takes a bit longer sometimes. Three seconds is the average time. So just using a little bit of the oil, just to clean you up there on the cheeks, mate. Nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. 